hello everyone so today I am going to work on this indicator light you can see in these generators so if I shoot it if it go to the jammed state you can see the green light turn red and if I shoot it further obviously destroy it and yeah that's what I'm gonna work on today let me show that in the in here as so. well by the way that cube appears is an indicator for the AI noise so it's not a problem I'll solve it so yeah the indicator lights that's what I'm going to work on today a clear indicator that shows the generators when they are in a dark place and an indicator that they are in the jammed state so player can clearly read if the light is red that means it is jammed if the light is green it is working properly so yeah let's see how to do that today so uh, here in this uh, trap light and also for trap generator I thought of adding some uh, clear indicator like a bulb a green light something like that into this uh, generator to make it obvious that it is in the active space active state so what I am thinking of doing is when it is in the active state we should see uh, some clearly visible green light so we do have some lights in this side but it's not visible from all the sides so that's why I thought of implementing it, especially when we have placed these things in the level in a darker place. So when it is in the jammed state, I turn the green light into red. And yeah, that's basically what I'm planning to do. So, so this is uh, the trap light. I'll implement that feature in the trap generator because trap light is a child of tra trap generator so it would propagate those changes without any problem to the light also okay so for the lights I am thinking of adding um, two lights so it could be just a cube nothing complicated and it should be a child of this DC object so cube right and oh, we don't really need any collisions for this because it's just a visual thing and of course it shouldn't be this large so maybe point one by point one. Okay. Right. Now it's visible from both sides. Yeah. Right, I think that's visible enough. And where should I have this light? So uh, this doesn't look like a light at the moment. So let's create a material mm. yeah we have the same color why don't we create a, create an instance from this so it's already green so let me create an instance mi light uh, 
I'll make the emission let's say 10 by default or 100 maybe not required that much let's also write the color to clear green Um, light. Let's use this material here. See, now it's clearly visible in the dark. from many sites and if I increase this Yeah, that looks better, actually. But also, let's see how this looks in the daytime. Yeah, in the daytime also, it's clear, right? So let's go back. To the night time and uh, oh wait why is it bleeding why is it kind of overflowing It's moving down. Let's simulate and see. Ah, yeah. This is moving down. Uh, let me just properly adjust this without. Okay, so <laughs> here we have a problem. We can still see this, which is not what we want. So, um, what we need to do is, when it goes into the jammed state, this should become red. That's what I wanted. So, here, yeah. when it explodes, this should obviously, let me rename this. Lights. Set. Hidden in game. Okay. And. Here. When it goes to the jammed state jammed particle right get the lights 
set vector parameter value on materials this is base color parameter name and it has to be a color so I'll add no make color make linear color can we select on all right straight this should make it red let's see see it became red and when I shoot it's vanished okay uh, let's see let me put the trap generator here also all right so yeah that's simply what I wanted to do having a clear indicator and that works for me so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye